Hey guys, this is Bruce here with the Aquarium Life, and today I'm coming to you from a laundry room. Right. Hey guys, Bruce here with the Aquarium Life. So today I wanted to show you uh, a few easy ways to put in an RO system. I wanted to point out that this is, I'm going to do a separate video on uh, RO 101, um, how to uh, you know more of an extensive how to hook it up uh, today's video is kind of how to think outside the box because I've had a lot of people say well I have to go pick up water from the store or whatever because I'm in an apartment or I don't want to make any modifications to my plumbing uh, so they don't want to install an RO system in their house so in today's video I'm going to show you two easy ways to kind of get around that whether you're renting your place or you just don't want to uh, make any permanent installations. So without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you is how to install an RO system right by your washing machine. Everything you need is right there. You've got your freshwater hookup and you've got a drain line and there's no uh, permanent installation needed. All right, you're going to need one of these. This is a uh, two-way splitter for a garden hose. I recommend getting the best quality one available. Uh, this was a uh, brass one and uh, they usually last for years and years without any problems at all. Okay, the second thing you'll need is a uh, quarter inch adapter hose bib. These are usually available online. It might be a little harder to find these at any of your local stores. Uh, this one that I'm showing here is made out of brass. They also have uh, plastic ones that seem to hold up just fine. Okay, so this is super simple. Um, they had this splitter already attached. They had two washing machines going. Normally you would just have the one. Um, you can see here this just screws right on to the, to the uh, hose bib there. And uh, you're going to take your other piece here, your quarter inch adapter. You're going to screw that on, secure it with some pliers. Press your RO line in there, check for leaks, and you're good to go. All right, so in every laundry room, you're going to have uh, just, a, just a drain exactly like this one, or I guess pretty similar. And uh, the nice thing is we can take advantage of this without making any modifications, and we can just run our quarter-inch drain hose down there. And then ideally, you would just zip-tie that. So ideally you would just uh, zip tie this to the washing machine's drain hose. It'll stay in place. Uh, you should have no issues whatsoever. And as you can see, we've made no permanent modifications. And this installation takes maybe five minutes at most. All right, like I mentioned before, um, I will do another video on just uh, RO systems in general, kind of a one-on-one. -on -one. But uh, this video, we're just kind of focusing on uh, easy and convenient ways to install them. So we've got the RO up, we've got our feed line going in from the splitter, we've got the drain line going down the drain, and then we can just plumb in our um, our product water line and have that available to fill up our jugs or whatever we need to do. Um, a lot of apartments and things like that, they'll have a shelf above the washing machine, which is a great place to put the RO unit. Uh, just make sure that everything's nice and tight, make sure to check for leaks, and uh, once everything's up and running, you should be good to go. Okay, for the next uh, method, I want to show you how to uh, do a temporary install. This is if you want to use the RO system on weekends. Um, like I said, maybe you're, you're renting the place, uh, or maybe you own it, and you just don't want a permanent installation of an RO system. The, uh, one of these is great. So these uh, threads right here are exactly the same that you would have for a garden hose. So it'll fit that adapter I showed you earlier. And then the threads on this part right here uh, fit uh, most conventional faucets. Uh, there are some newer styles or some designer faucets that it won't fit onto. It has a couple different gaskets. Um, let's see if you can see on the video there, there's some threads inside. Um, and then there's some threads on the outside. The combination of those two should fit on uh, on most faucets. It also has a quick connect, and that's why I recommend this one. I believe I got this at the Home Depot. If not, it was from Lowe's. But uh, you could actually leave that on the faucet, uh, like if it's a bathroom that you don't use very often, or, or a deep sink, or something like that. 
uh, leave that on there and then when you want to connect up your uh, your RO system you just go ahead and plug it right in okay here's a uh, bathroom bathroom faucet so usually you got to use a pair of pliers to get this loose sometimes uh, it'll come loose on its own it just unscrews you can see we've got some some threads on the inside And that's working normally. And then when we want to hook up our RO system, we can do that. And this is perfect if you just want to make some RO water over the weekend. And then you could simply run your drain hose into the bathtub, down the down the sink drain or whatever, whatever's more convenient for you. Um, the one thing I'll tell you with this though is keep an eye while you're on the jugs while you're filling them up because you don't want to have a flood in your bathroom. All right, guys, I hope you uh, got some benefit from this. Uh, this video, you know, like I said, the point of this is not how to install an RO system. It's just uh, kind of thinking outside the box. How do I get around it if I don't want to permanently install it, if I don't have the space for it? Um, you know, maybe you're staying at your parents' house and they're like, I don't want that put in or whatever. So um, that was the point of the video today. I hope that uh, it's been helpful for you. Uh, if you could, please subscribe to my channel. That helps me out a lot. If you like the video, hit that like button. And uh, if you would, please follow me on Instagram. That's vital underscore reef. Thank you again so much for watching.